One of the things that entices players about the prospect of Red Dead Online going forward in a Wild West game is the ability to play as either an outlaw or a lawman. And that's what we're going to do a role video idea of today, lawman as a future role idea for Red Dead Online. By the way, your thoughts, your views, your opinions, your ideas for what you would like to see in a lawman role, welcome below in the comment section. Basically, the lawman is Bounty Hunter 2.0. It would be a continuation of the Bounty Hunter role. In fact, there would be obvious requirements. You would have to reach rank 20 as a Bounty Hunter, and it would also cost you 30 bars of gold in order for you to become a lawman in Red Dead Online. The most exciting part, personally, for me would be the idea that you could run around wearing a badge. So there would be a variety of outfits that would unlock as you progress through the uh, lawman roll from rank 0 to rank 20 lawman roll that you'd be able to wear with different variations of each outfit. You would have various uh, sheriff deputies outfits, U.S. marshal outfits, both of course badges on the uniforms or clothing. Clothing, yeah. And there might even be some other uh, agencies like the Pinkerton Detective Agency outfits and badges revenue agent badges and outfits for players to potentially wear as well through the lawman role. When it comes to the uh, sheriff's deputies and the U.S. Marshal outfits, I'm inspired by some of the multiplayer characters we could play as in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer. We had a set of lawmen you could eventually unlock and pick from, but eventually Rockstar added the U.S. Marshals, which were eight characters you could pick from, all of which were U.S. Marshals. You could go by those variations of clothing for Sheriff's Deputies, U.S. Marshals, and Rockstar could use some of those and different colors of each one for outfits for the lawman role. So I think that is kind of a no-brainer. I don't feel like you're going to be able to put a badge on every single clothing item you have, whether it's the Sheriff's Deputy badge, U.S. Marshal badge, Pinkerton Detective Agency badge, or Revenue Agent badge, clothing items, uniforms, if you want to call them that outfits that you would be able to purchase through the lawman role that would automatically have a badge on them depending on which one you want to be and it really wouldn't matter if you were a sheriff's deputy a marshal pinkerton or revenue agent though i would advise you not to be a revenue agent because somebody doing a moonshine sell might mistake you for revenue agent and it may not end so well for you next would be what would you do as a lawman Specifically, since it's obviously going to be a continuation of the Bounty Hunter role, Bounty Hunter 2.0. So a very similar system would be in place. There would be free roam, I guess, uh, warrants out there or Bounty 2.0s. There would be new legendary bounties because a lot of players have been wanting new legendary bounties. And maybe these would pay more cash and gold and XP higher than the Bounty Hunter role, which would make sense because this is a higher tier in that particular uh, branch when it comes to roles, you would expect to be paid more cash and gold being a lawman than you would be in a bounty hunter. But there would be a caveat when it comes to uh, these new missions, new legendaries. You have to bring them in alive. Now, their henchmen, the thugs, the, the bad guys that, that ride with their gangs, their groups, their posses, you could kill them all day long. But the target itself that you have to go after and arrest and bring to justice, you have to bring back alive. To help you do that, you would get some additional items like uh, some sort of uh, knockout gas or maybe like a smoke bottle or something where you could just knock them out. Or maybe you could also use the uh, set of 22 rounds from Harriet and the varmint rifle. I guess that would give the naturalist role something more for you to aspire towards. You could use those set of rounds as a lawman to knock out, to trank that primary target. And then you could either uh, hog tie them with a reinforced lasso, or you could go for something more permanent like handcuffs, the ability to own handcuffs. You'd obviously be limited with how many handcuffs you could have on you, but at the same time, you'd be able to handcuff the suspect so that they would be unable to get off your horse. And if they got off your horse, they wouldn't get very far because they would be handcuffed. And maybe you could actually do like a further on as you rank up the roll, you would also get kind of like a ball and chain or something so that they would just deter them even further. So they would 
be extremely difficult for them to escape, similar to the prisoners you'll come across in Red Dead Redemption 2 when it comes to having, like, I guess, uh, shackles and handcuffs. I think that's a good idea. Next would be a variety of different dynamics that would pop up throughout the map. You could approach it as a lawman or an outlaw. I'm not leaving out the outlaws. There's a little something something here for you as well. As a lawman or an outlaw, if you choose to be an outlaw, you'll have robbery dynamics pop up, like uh, bank teller robberies, stagecoach robberies, train robberies, highwaymen, etc. And as a lawman... You got to stop it. You got to arrest the, I guess, the leader of the gang and the posse, whatnot. Or you can, maybe in the dynamics, you can actually kill them if you want. But as a outlaw, you will have several options at your disposal. You can either also go and rob bank tellers or stagecoaches, trains, wagons, and maybe you can sell the wagons roaming around Reddit online to the fence, similar to Red Dead Redemption 2. You also end up having that ability as Arthur Morgan. And he also had the ability to actually like uh, stick up people, holding up various NPCs and make them fork over some money. So maybe as a quote unquote outlaw, you would be able to rob whatever NPCs you want to rob. Of course, there would always be consequences because maybe they will not want to part with their cash or their coin and they'll fight back. They'll resist or maybe there's a witness that rides off looking for law enforcement. In other words, when it comes to these dynamic robberies, you could have the option to either help or hinder them. As a lawman, you can stop them. As an outlaw, maybe you can actually help the outlaws that are robbing you know, the innocents around the maps of Red Dead Online. Or you can simply kill them all and take the uh, loot for yourself. Or you can be the one doing the robbing. While this role would be specifically revolved around lawmen, you can't really have lawmen without outlaws, which is why I think that there should be at least a little something, something free roam wise for the outlaws of Red Dead Online to do and enjoy. And a lot of players have been wanting the ability to uh, carry out robberies, whether it's, like I mentioned, just a regular stagecoach, a wagon, go sell the wagons and stagecoaches or buggies to fences for a little extra money or simply rob NPCs, whether they're riding around on horseback or bank tellers or even hop up on every now and then. Maybe uh, a passenger train would spawn in the game and you would have the ability to rob the passenger train. Most of the time in Red Dead Online, it's the freight train. So it'd be really cool if every now and then that was a dynamic as well where you would just happen to come across a passenger train. Maybe it's being robbed by uh, NPCs and you have to stop it. Or maybe you can help with the uh, robbery. I think you had that option when it came to robbery dynamics in Red Dead Redemption. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe you had that ability to go one way or the other with John Marston in Red Dead Redemption. Some of the abilities I came up with when it comes to ranking up the lawmen are revolved around, I guess, the bounty system. Since you're a lawman, you want to have a lower chance of being wanted. And perhaps that also gives you the ability, similar to Arthur in Red Dead Redemption 2, whenever you have a situation come up with a lawman, you have a means of resolving it, of, you know, easing back before it gets worse, before you become wanted. Because even though you're a lawman in the game, you're still a player, and the NPC lawman may not treat you like a, a lawman, and they may just see you as just another person causing trouble, but maybe as a lawman, you'll have an ability to, I guess, ease the tensions and just get a warning or something and have them walk away instead of things escalating from simply antagonizing you to being wanted and having all these lawmen coming after you, even though you're supposed to also be a lawman. So that would be a cool ability. And I think another uh, perk would be to, if you do get a bounty, a personal bounty for a lawman would be considerably lower. The, the payout, right? Where like right now you pay half the bounty in the camp lockbox are at the post office, but as a lawman, eventually you would get the ability to only have to pay 25% of that bounty. So if you had like a dollar bounty, instead of having to pay 50 cents, you'd only have to pay uh, 25 cents, for example. And my final ability that I came up with, more ammo, increased ammo capacity for some weapons. Rifles, sniper rifles, perhaps shotguns, with the exception of like explosive incendiary rounds, you would be able to carry more regular ammo, express ammo, high velocity ammo, split point ammo. So that ammo would be increased on your person for your various uh, firearms, which serves as a good segue 
towards the weapon that the lawman could acquire in Red Dead Online. And shout out to uh, Kane. He's the one who made this suggestion. The Lee Enfield. Of course, it's a British rifle, but I'm sure there are probably a few Lee Enfields scattered around uh, the Wild West by this time period. It came out in, let's see, 1895. There were 17 million built, and uh, it was manufactured from 1895 to 1926, according to Wikipedia. The Lee Enfield is a bolt-action, magazine-fed, repeating rifle that served as the main firearm used by the military forces of the British Empire, the Commonwealth, during the first half of the 20th century. It was the British Army's standard rifle from the official adoption in 1895 until 1957. So there you go, a new rifle in the game courtesy of the Lawman update. It sounds like an impressive rifle, the Lee Enfield rifle. I definitely would love to have this rifle riding around dispensing law, order, and justice, or just for hunting and pissing off Harriet. (laughs) Speaking of riding around, another segment. (laughs) What would the Lawman ride around on? What would be a marshal, a sheriff's deputy, a Pinkerton revenue agent's uh, trusty steed? As you know, I don't really care for the roll horses, but we got to throw a breed out there, right? So I came up with, after a little digging, a little research, apparently uh, some lawmen in the West period grew quite fond with this particular horse, the Florida Cracker Horse, which actually had several nicknames. It was also referred to as the Chickasaw Pony, the Seminole Pony, Prairie Pony, Florida Cow Pony, Spanish Cow Pony. It probably has one or two other ones. Once again, according to Wikipedia, the Florida Cracker Horse is a breed of horse from the state of Florida in the United States. It is genetically and physically similar to many other Spanish-style horses, including, I think, the Criollo, I believe, especially those from the Spanish uh, colonial horse group. The Florida Cracker Horse is a breed known for its agility and speed. Now, this is a horse that I would very much like to have in Red Dead Online. Yes, you want a horse like the Florida Cracker Horse, as the steed, as the trusty mount of a lawman in Red Dead Online. And I think that this particular horse would make the role even more enticing. So there you go. My thoughts, my ideas, how I think the lawman role would work and what all it would entail. Maybe it would also involve some of the other lawmen that already exist in Red Dead Online. Maybe they'll give you missions and you have to go to them for specific missions to go apprehend suspects and bring them back to Tumbleweed or to Armadillo, Strawberry, Blackwater, Valentine, Road, Saint Denis. You get the idea. But at the same time, I do feel like the payout should be better for the lawman role than it is the bounty hunter role because this is a step above the bounty hunter role. And I also think that there needs to be a little bit more of a challenge. And when it comes to specific suspects that are wanted, you should have to bring them back alive. I think that should be the requirement. You kill them, you fail the mission. It adds a little bit more challenge when it comes to the lawman role. But anyways, that's my role idea for uh, the lawman in Red Dead Online. I'm curious about your thoughts, your views, and opinions, what you liked, what you didn't like, what you would include in a lawman role. As always, welcome below in the comments section. <laughs>